With winter here, parents have been gliding up to me asking me how they can protect their children when they're on a sled out on those slopes. Well, let me see if I can provide some information on sledding that will make your child's adventure a little piece of heaven rather than a journey into hill. Anyway, it turns out that more than 70,000 children end up in emergency rooms because of sledding accidents, most of them between the ages of five and nine years of age. If you don't want your child to become a sledding injury statistic, I've got some information. First, inspect the terrain where your child will be sledding. Make sure it's free of obstructions, perhaps hidden rocks, tree branches, tree stumps, and make sure that hill ends in plenty of time for the sled to stop before the sled and your child end up in a body of water, a parking lot, or the road. Equipment is also important. I love the old-fashioned sleds that have smooth metal runners rather than plastic runners which handle the bumps a lot better. Make sure these metal runners are not jagged or pointed or they can hurt others as the sled is going down the hill. I love sturdy handrails and I love an easy driving mechanism. Now saucers and tubes are a lot of fun. They have sturdy handrails or handguards but they don't steer very well so I'm not a big fan of the tubes and the saucers. It's also important that your children know never to go sledding alone. If it's a younger child, that child's going to go sledding with an adult, sitting between the adult's legs as the sled goes down the hill. If it's an older child, that child be sledding alone, but should always have a friend there in case an injury occurs. And that child should be sitting up, not lying on his or her belly, because if that sled tips over, that's a setup for a belly or abdominal injury or a serious head injury. In fact, it's a great idea that all sledders, like skiers and snowboarders, are wearing a helmet when they do go sledding. Finally, remind your children to always stay alert when they are sledding, not just going down the hill, but as they're walking their sleds up the hill, hopefully to the sides of the hill, away from oncoming sledders, so that hopefully tips like this will slide down easily when it comes to keeping your children safe on those slopes when they're sledding and having a great time. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.